All right, welcome back to a new uh, slightly unplanned episode. Um, slightly different, obviously, from the series that you've been seeing recently. Awesome plan on doing this, as I just said. When I was talking to my fiberglass guy, he was um, he was showing me some stuff that he recommended I work with. Now, um, never used it before. It's pretty different. Um, and he gave me a little section, well, he gave me a bunch of it, basically, uh, to play with. Um, and I didn't record what I initially did because I was really ill. Um, still kind of a little bit ill at the moment. It messed around with a little bit, but basically making a... Um, a variant on the front over fender. At the moment I'm still waiting for our kind of schedules to align with, with my buddies so we can do the final section. Um, so we can do the the last part of the uh, of the over fender series of the, you know, making the mold. So we're still doing that um, but I thought hey I'll just mess around with this stuff that he gave me. Now what he gave me is a polyurethane foam. Now um, this is used for model making. Pretty easy to work with. You can cut it easily with a knife. You can sand it and make shapes out of it. Super super easy. So um, I messed around with a bit of that, um, and yeah, it came out uh, <laughs> really well. Uh, so um, I will show you right now um, what I came up with. Oh, it's come loose. Um, <laughs> I did that. Um, so yeah, I, I um, kind of extended it down to below the, um, the bumper pod there. Um, and added a little section at the bottom there to see what it looked like with a splitter. Looks awesome. Put a um, little chamfer on that bit. Um, yeah, it's really simple to use. All you did, well, this bit's come off because it wasn't on a flat surface, but you just literally hot glue gun bits and pieces together like you can see there. That's just hot glue gunned on. So, um, yeah, that's that's really... Um, <laughs> That's really what I did. That's, that's kind of crazy. I've got some bigger sheets, annoyingly. The biggest sheet I had, um, as I was walking to the garage, the wind caught it and it broke in half. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, stick bits together again, which isn't a bad thing, um, because it, you, well, you can just get away with it. Let's see how this one turns out. If it turns out all right, um, then it's all good. I'm not gonna do like a massive long series or anything like that. I'm just gonna kind of carry on as normal, because. Yeah, I'm just gonna carry on as normal. So let's get that thing off, um, and then kind of mess around with it a little bit because the shape's not quite right. Um, um, I wanna wanna make this bit um, come further forward. That shape needs to change a bit more. Obviously, needs to meet there. Uh, that needs to kind of like shape a little bit more there. So um, I'm probably gonna start with just kind of shaping that a little bit. I think. Um, Nice and simple, straightforward. Um, you can just literally cut it with a knife and then you can sand it. Oh, it's so good to sand. It's ridiculous. But yeah, let's um, do a bit of that. Um, yeah. Cue the, cue the time lapse of music. What I'm going to do is put some of the that aluminium foil tape um, on the car. Um, it sticks a little bit better than masking tape, and it's a nice release surface as well. So, um, if we do end up doing something on the car with the fiberglass, which we probably will do, then it's going to be underneath because I kind of want to do this in one go and not kind of drag it out too much. He says talking a lot.
So that's glued. Um, it's pretty, pretty solid. That's not really going anywhere. Neither is that. Um, obviously, you need to trim the bottom a bit. Um, I'm going to put a support in here, here, I think, and then work on this bottom piece and then kind of work out how to do the top. Um, but so far, it's it's really easy stuff to use. Really easy stuff to use, um, which is annoying and good at the same time. Um, pretty happy with that shape. Obviously, just need to kind of even it out a little bit. Um, but I can do that when it's kind of all probably fixed in place. At the moment, it's a little bit sketchy, so I'll put some supports in and and then start kind of working it a bit more. Yeah, seeing as I've literally just started messing around with this stuff, this is kind of cool. I already, I think I prefer the shape of this one to the other one. I don't know. Um, like that's cool. That's all good down there. Um, so I just need to do the top section. And it's all fixed on, so it's not going to flap around. It's nice, there's no uh, fixing holes or anything like that. You just put a bit of tape on the wheel and just glued that on. So it's, it's pretty solid. Um, so I've got to, to get one piece to curve all the way from there, follow this this line all the way to the end. But you know, just doing doing that, and then you know, when that's in situ, glued in situ, I can just shape it like that, and it's you know, <laughs> it's all good. So um, yeah. And just, yeah, I can just shape the end again, nice and simple. It's kind of cool. So I'll, um, so yeah, I th I've glued, I've glued the broken, a broken piece together. So I'm going to try and stick that on there somehow. Right, now, um, I've cut that top section there. Um, so put a little bit of an angle on it, obviously to compensate for that angle there. So all I've got to do is shave that to the same angle as this or thereabouts. So super easy. Um, I'll just mark it with a with a pencil all the way along. Um, sand that down on that side. <laughs> um, sand that down, um, and then I can hot glue gun that onto there, and then that top section is basically done. Um, yeah. Like I said, so easy to work with. Um, this is going to be taking, well, this is going to end up taking about four hours or something like that. So pretty simple, um, easy to work with. Now, after I've done all this, I'll explain to you what we need to do to this to make it kind of workable. So uh, yeah, let's, let's shave that down. Stuck on, sorry about the uh, 
the noise of the rain. That's absolutely ridiculous. So that's um, <coughs> that's stuck on like that, um, or on the top. Um, nice and straight. All I'm going to do now is trim that underneath, get it level like that, uh, and then um, sand it again. Right, I have to speak kind of loud because because the rain is really really heavy and yeah it's made it very very loud in here having a a metal roof. Um, right, you can see. Ah, I'm gonna do this. So um, you can see behind me how well and how easily that shaped. Now that's extremely frustrating because of what I've um, been doing for the last god knows how many episodes. Um, but um, I'm not mad. Um, this is fun. <laughs> this is really fun. Um, it really lets me mess around with different shapes. Um, so it's given me a, a new perspective on on shape and style. Obviously, it's a lot lower um, on the body line than the other one. Um, you know, in the day or in, in like four hours, I managed to get that whole shape in. So you know that. You know, from the bottom to the, to the back to the front of the back, that bit all the way to there. Um, yeah, and that as well. So, yeah, that's super cool. That's really fun. Um, so, with this stuff now, um, once that's on there, um, I need to kind of kind of shore it up and, and, and make it better to work with. Now what I want to try and do is um, release off of this. So I've been advised to um, cover it in one layer of fiberglass tissue, which is really, really fine, really, really thin, as you can imagine, like tissue, obviously with resin. Let that go off. What that's gonna do is stop this being so porous and like kind of sand, sand-like texture. Um, give it a slightly smoother surface then I can go with a PVA release agent on that. That's not PVA glue, it's a different thing. Um, a PVA release agent over that tissue once it's hardened, obviously. And then if I wanted to, I can either make a mold or just literally glass straight over that and have a piece. Now you think, you're probably thinking, oh, it's gonna be, you know, slightly further out than this. But that's not a bad thing because it gives me tire clearance, uh, wheel clearance even, so. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty stoked with that. It is so loud in here. It is so loud. Um, but yeah, that's that's that bit done. Obviously, yeah, a few little bits to work out. You know, it's it's hard to kind of glue this down because it's such a fine edge and sanding that that hot glue down um, is a bit messy. Um, so yeah. This has gone really well. This has gone really, really well. Um, yeah, it's just nice to be able to do something that's taken like no time at all. Um, yeah, very cool. Very cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that slightly random, um, very, very different video from the normal. Uh, obviously, I'm going to upload the um, the sixth and final episode of the other other Overfender style as soon as I can. Um, like I said, I'm struggling to get time to kind of like get our, mine and my buddy's schedules to kind of work together so we can actually do that. So I thought I'd just do something anyway and give you a video rather than just like, just leaving it for a, like, you know, a month or so. Plus this has worked out really well. This has been really fun. Um, and it means that I can probably make the rear section a lot easier than I thought. Um, 
because I wasn't sure I wasn't sure how I was going to do the rear section but I think I'm definitely going to do the rear section in that foam stuff is going to make it way easier um, I hadn't really thought too much about how I was going to do that I was just concentrating on the front so the rear should be um, pretty easy to do with with that stuff so um, well falling over um, so yeah really stoked with that hope you guys liked it and uh, yeah I will see you very very soon take care subscribe you fools